Remember my last video about my subwoofer, what I said? Maybe I should upgrade for a 15 inch mids because I can hear a little lack of uh, kick and uh, mid range. Maybe a next upgrade. Well, this is the day. I managed to put my hand on a pair of EAW GF560 for a pretty good price and a composed with a 15 inch and a 3 inch queer horn, which is stupidly huge. Like, yeah. And I like this arrangement because it makes your Twitter go a little bit down the frequency. That way you have all the kicks and bass that comes out of the speaker. It gives a very very cool sound. I tested it on rock music and it's very very cool. So they are not in the best shape uh, but at least they came with some fly case and they are in this shape which is quite funny. They are not in a double flight which is something I quite enjoy because if they were in a double flight that would mean because each speaker weighs around 44 kilograms that would make a flight at like 90 kilos. <laughs> just no. <laughs> I already experienced that with the Roboscan Pro 980 and it's just a mess. <laughs> but even though they are a bit scratched and everywhere, I'm going to paint them with some Duratex or Warnex, same thing. Very thick paint with texture that we use for speaker, very durable, very nice. And to answer some question about why I haven't paid in my subwoofer, it's because they are not in flight. So, I mean, every time I'm going to put them in a truck or, uh, or in a van, so I'm going to get bumps and scratch. And if I repaint them, there is a good chance that next week I will have to repaint them again. But that's not the case on the tops because they are in flight. They are saved from scratches and bumps from the trucks. So I want to give them a very cool and very new like finish. Probably going to change also the handle because they are a bit rusted. But yeah. I already removed the front grille and checked inside. And I think this woofer might be new or has been redone because it's very... It doesn't have any dust, very, very nice finish. Whereas this one I think it's a bit more used. I can see some dust here. And one thing very funny is that the dust cap is inverted, so you can't accidentally push it uh, and stuck it, which is uh, something I really love. Like, look at the <laughs> thickness of that. Yeah, again, EAW is very, very stiff material. But unlike the one I repaired last time, uh, they didn't come with the coating, with the weird coating that weighed a ton. So these are pretty easy to handle, and at least they have handled. <laughs> If I remember right, I think those can get up to 800 watts, but with a flick of a lever, here you can put them in B amplification, and this way you can output 800 watts out of the bass and uh, around 200 watts out of the tweeter, which makes your speaker 1000 watts each. <laughs> 2000 watts speaker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's pretty insane, isn't it? And to put it in perspective, this model of speaker were used in Disneyland Paris back in 93. So yeah, you know it's good quality, right? And they are very easy to service and maintain, very easy to take apart, just like they were made to last forever, right? Because I removed the grill because I wanted to take a, a peek inside and I saw that the foam was all dried out. And the foam is not attached with some glue, like for example on uh, my RCF or my HK Audio monitor. No, they are attached with some clips, that way you don't have to lose time scratching and uh, removing all the, the glue. No, it's just attached with those little clips here. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And you just have to jam them in there, here. Then you have these little clips here. That goes into the pin and grab on the side.
And that's it. It's as easy as that. Took me like 10 minutes to make those two. <laughs> but before remounting them, I want to tackle this issue I've been seeing on this horn. So it's a bit cracked in here. And I can see some separation in here. And also uh, when I'm feeding some bass frequency through the driver, I can feel some hair leakage in here. So maybe the seal is not properly uh, maintained. So I want to remove this horn and try to repair it as best as I can. Try to glue back the fiber because this is not plastic actually. It's uh, like uh, epoxy or fiberglass components, something. It's a heavy boy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty huge for a Twitter. Man. All right. Alright, so what we have here is an Italian made Twitter from EW and an RCF L15 made in Italy, all in a made in USA box. So, yeah, quite funny. And I'm pretty amazed to see some RCF components inside, but I'm very happy about that. By the way, if this box weighed a ton, it's just because of that. Like, this is uh, I can't weigh that with one head, but it's a lot of weight and a lot of magnet power in such a small size like Yeah, I'm pretty sure by the way that this size of magnet is the same as my 18 inch in this one yeah, This is very very big for a 15 So It's an ARW horn motor here a bit rusted but it's not too much a big deal actually because it still sound great but I'm probably going to uh, have a closer look inside probably but the problem is that the fiber on the horn is separating in here here also is quite a lot crack uh, it probably have been dropped or over tightened I don't not very sure but I need to redo that. Very good. I'm not sure how this dent came on the diaphragm, maybe a dust or sand. Since it is very thin and fragile, even fine particle can damage it and will alter the sound quality, that's for sure. Thankfully, a replacement can easily be found even on Amazon for a cheap price. Since the screw and the nuts are getting quite rusted, 
I'm going to uh, remove them and replace them with some brand new one. They are not stuck right now, but I'm pretty sure if I let them rust even more, they will uh, be stuck forever. So let's do that. So this is the motor and this is the horn. Now this is much easier to work with to repair the side. I am using acetone to dissolve the remnant adhesive of the old gasket. And I am cleaning the surface with some compressed air to guarantee perfect adhesion of the epoxy. I am mixing the resin and the hardener and then apply a thick coat on each side. I used a lot of clamps and added a piece of paper where material was missing, because I don't have fiberglass on hand. To make it a bit more presentable, I'm lightly spray painting the surface and while I'm at it, I took the opportunity to give a fresh coat on the woofer motor. I sanded the rusty parts and applied several light passes. You might say this is useless because you can't see the back of the woofer, but it's more for protection against rust than anything to be honest. And without further ado, it's time to prepare the box for their fresh paint. I just noticed that one of the choke for the woofer has come unglued and just judging by the color of it, I'm pretty sure it's been hitting quite a lot but I'm going to fix it with a little screw and a nut 
All right, this ain't going anywhere. Preparation of the boss is complete, now moving on to the paint, and I tried a new technique of applying a thick coat of paint with a brush and then texture it with a roller. Normally, you're supposed to saturate the roller with paint and apply it directly, which is more wasteful. This new technique seems to work fine and I'll definitely use it more often. And that's the first cut down. And between each coat, I'm wrapping my brush and roller with some cellophane film as well as the paint. Because it's water-based, the paint stay fresh and I don't have to clean them every time. That way I don't lose and waste as much paint because this is very expensive though. So I'm going to put a new gasket because the old one was completely broken. Uh, I'm going to use this kind of gasket. This is a Windows gasket. So I'm going to put it all around here and put the Twitter back. So let's do that right now. This is smooth, man. Wow. Yeah, that's why I like this kind of uh, gasket because it's very easy to work with. Perfect fit. Yeah, this is much better. Now let's listen to some Helilabs tune, and you know it's good music when they have furries on the cover. Nice.
My camera really don't give justice of how it sounds, but take a listen at this stereoscopic image. That's crazy! And by the way, this time I put some wedges and block of wood to try to mitigate rattling of the room. And that's it for this one, thanks for watching till the end of the video, drop a like if you enjoy my work, it really helps support the channel. Alright, that's it, have a nice day!